Well, first of all, I just want to thank the people of Des Moines. I mean, they really came out for us. Um, it was just a great atmosphere. I felt a, a little bit like a tournament atmosphere again. It was electric, and I think a lot of these people haven't been able to see us play live, and so it was an opportunity for them to do so. And, uh, you know, I thought we did a nice job putting on a good show. Um, Caitlin, obviously, you know, her adjusted field goal percentage shooting is 83%, 38 points, uh, perfect from the line. Hannah has a double-double. Um, 13 rebounds, uh, you know, Sharon has 10 rebounds. We just really did a great job on the boards. Um, really happy with that. And, and really, I thought, had some unbelievable passes to dissect the zone. Yeah, it was really special. I, this is probably the game that was circled on the calendar for myself. I was just really excited to come back here and you know, thanks to our coaches for wanting to play this game, um, the men's coaches, our administration, marketing, everybody putting this on. And, you know, it takes a lot of hard work to be able to put on events like this. So I'm really just thankful that I was able to come back here and play in front of a lot of family and friends. And, um, you know, I thought we played really well. Um, yeah, it's just really exciting. I had chills when we ran out of the tunnel. It's just cool to see how people support us. And like Coach Bluter said, a lot of these people probably don't have the opportunity to get to see us play all the time. So um, it's cool to give people in Des Moines an opportunity to see us play live. A little more physical? Yeah. I thought they were, I mean, on film, I think they, they really work hard in their zone. They're very scrappy mm -hmm. in it. So, um, I don't know, I guess. Yeah, I mean. Not something that really stands out, jumps out at me, though. Yeah. And how was it for you? I mean, you kind of been battling a couple different injuries, but to kind of go out there, really dominate on the offensive glass. Sorry, I'll talk louder. Mm -hmm. uh, really dominate on the offensive glass, a lot of putbacks. Just seemed like you were kind of back in your comfort zone, maybe then the past couple of games or so. Yeah, um, I think it was a lot of fun playing out there. Um, I like to play um, happy, so uh, <laughs> don't laugh at happy like Hannah. Um, yeah, I thought I was back to myself, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, Caitlin, uh, talk to one of your family members, and he thought it would mean a lot for you to walk out of here with a win. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the last time you played here, you did not win. Mm -hmm. Is I don't have many of those here in high school, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so what did it mean to have a performance like this in this particular arena? It was it was awesome. Um, yeah, I like I said earlier, I'm just was really excited to be able to come back here and probably my best shooting performance I've ever had in Wells Fargo Arena. I don't remember too many great ones previously, um, but I grew up coming to games here. I was a fan of the Iowa Energy before they turned into the Iowa Wolves and were really good. My brothers had my their birthday parties here I mean I came to the hockey games here like I was here all the time like I just loved this place and um it's cool to be able to be a kid that you know grew up coming to games here I eventually played here in high school and now I had the opportunity to play here in college and um it's special like this place will always kind of have a special place in my heart and um I'm just really thankful to be able to come back here and, and play in front of this crowd Caitlin, uh, nine point nine three pointers in total tonight, um, and there were a couple that uh, you really seemed to be feeling it. Like you <laughs> chucked it up, and then you ran back to the other side of the court, thinking that it was going to go in, and so forth. And obviously, most of them did. I mean, were you just feeling confident, just excited about obviously playing in this arena and in your hometown? Yeah, I didn't know if you were going to say nine threes or nine turnovers, <laughs> but um, no, I that my shot felt good, and you know, anytime you you play a zone defense, which we don't really see hardly ever. Um, you know, you should be able to get good looks from three. And I thought we did a really good job of getting the ball into the high post. And then our shooters being able to spot up and have really good looks. And Coach Bluter always says in and out threes are the best threes. And even for myself personally, I feel like when I have my feet set and my body's already facing the basket, I have a pretty good chance of them going in. And honestly, I know I, I made nine, but I felt like a couple more could have dropped. I thought they were going to go in, minus the one that didn't even hit the rim that I shot from about half court. But, um, no, I, I mean, I love playing against zone defense. We obviously don't see it much just because we have such great shooters on our teams. But it was nice to not have a game prior this week, so we had all week to prep for that. Caitlin, what was that experience like? You hit that last three-pointer and you're running down the <laughs> sideline, high, high five. And I mean, first of all, is, was there anybody there in, in the front row that you knew, or uh, and just take us through that moment? Yeah, a lot of our donors were sitting there in the front row, so a lot of people that just support our program, and then um, somebody that works at Hy-Vee that's a huge fan of mine, uh, Donna Tweet, and she's like our biggest fan, so she was having a good time with me too. But um, those are people that are like really passionate about women's basketball. They understand the game. Um, they're cheering for us. They're not. 
you know, I mean, they're at every single game. Those are people that are constantly there supporting our program. And, um, you know, they have fun with us, too. And I think that's, I don't know, I like to get them involved. That's what makes it exciting. That's what makes them want to come back. And um, gave them a high five, was kind of smiling and running back. Anna, you had eight, or excuse me, six offensive rebounds, which is as many as Cleveland State had as an entire team. Did you come into this game thinking that you're going to be able to be productive, especially on the boards, or is that just something that happened? Um, I think it just kind of comes to me. Uh, the ball was bouncing in my favor tonight on the offensive rebounding <laughs> side. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, um, <clears throat> Caitlin, it seemed from where I was sitting in the first half, you I wouldn't say you looked tight, but you didn't look uh, as maybe as uh, expressive as normal. And in the second half, you obviously loosened up. W were you at all nervous about this game? Honestly, not really, no. Um, I was just – I was excited to play more than anything. Um, it's hard to be nervous when there's – I mean, how many does this arena sit? However many people, and they're all wearing black and gold. I mean, you have that many people that have your back. I have teammates that have my back. And um, – I think as a competitor, like, these are the games that you get up for a little more. Like, I get to come back to the place I grew up playing basketball um, and play in front of a lot of family members. And my mom always jokes, I always play better the more family members I have in the crowd. So maybe that theory holds true. Oh. I don't know. Um, Hire a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Hire a bus. <laughs> it's a good idea. Um, but, no, I mean, I didn't, I didn't feel tight, honestly. I, I was just hoping a couple more threes would go down. <laughs> uh, so, Caitlin, you're talking about how you perform well in front of your family. Mm -hmm. There was one special person in the crowd mm -hmm. who saw you play as a college mm -hmm. student for the first time. Will you talk mm -hmm. about her a little, please? Yeah, my grandma, who wasn't who isn't able to come to much. My mom's parents come to quite a bit. My dad's mom doesn't really come to a ton, so it was really fun that they were able to come. Um, they were up in a suite, so I'm not sure exactly where they were, but um, I know they were cheering pretty loud. So, like I said, it's really special for me to be able to come back here and just a lot easier for my grandparents to be able to come to games like this. And, um, yeah, I'm just really grateful. Hannah, um, a lot's been made. A lot was made last season of your free throw shooting through the off season. You're five for six today. You're shooting upper 70s percentage. Just take us through that journey and, and you know, where that's taken you and where you're at now with that. Um, I think it's just been confidence, building my confidence, um, getting those extra reps in have been really important. Um, even in high school, I wasn't a great free throw shooter, as you know, you were <laughs> you were at a lot of games, but um, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, just building that confidence, getting those reps have been really important. Uh, Caitlin, you're surpassing a lot of names on the all-time NCAA scoring list, but the one you passed tonight was Ashley Jones, somebody mm -hmm. that I'm sure you know pretty well. Can you just talk about maybe your relationship with her and what that means to surpass her number on that scoring list? Yeah, I, th I think it's pretty cool. I think there's three Iowa girls that are on the top ten scoring list. I could be a little mistaken. One at Drake, one at Iowa, one at Iowa State. And I think it just speaks to women's basketball in this state, not only recently, but just the history of it and how good it is, um, whether it's you know back to the six-on-six six days or whether it's currently. I think there's just so many talented players, and Ashley was one of those really talented players. You know, We had our hands full when we would go up against her at Iowa State, so... Um, yeah, I think it just more than anything speaks to the talent of this state. Sometimes that gets a little overlooked how good women's basketball is in this state. Not just the University of Iowa, but the other programs in our state are really, really good as well. Hannah, from the teammate perspective, what, what is it like for you guys to... And I realize you sell out Carver Hawkeye Arena, but to, to be in this environment and see just how much support there is for Caitlin? What's it, what's it like from everyone else that's not hers perspective? Um, I don't know. I think it's awesome. Just mm -hmm. I love her a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> just seeing that other people do too. And <laughs> she's just an amazing basketball player. I think it's awesome that they're supporting her and supporting us because of her. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, you're, you're going up against a pretty darn tough Cleveland State team, somebody that you had flagged before the season as you know a 31 team. Having seen them, having played against them here, do you think they sort of lived up to that expectation of how difficult they are and, and you know, just sort of how tough was it to play against them here? Well, unfortunately, they, they suffered injuries and, and injuries to key players, right? Their best player um, is out. Uh, they have another player out. And so, I mean, it, that changes things, right? Injuries change a team, uh, changes the complexity of the season. So, um, you know, I, I – I know Cleveland State's still going to have a good year because Chris is a good coach, but 
Um, you know, we thought that it was going to be a, probably a little tougher with those if those players would have been healthy. Lisa, even without a couple of those players, they've had a pretty solid defense this season. Mm -hmm. I know you guys probably are the probably by far and away the best offense they've seen. But what did you see from your offense able to to break down them in, in different situations? Well, first of all, I thought our our offensive rebounding was just outstanding, mm -hmm. um, and. You know, we, sh we score, what, 104 points without even shooting that exceptional from three-point range. I mean, you know, we have a lot of other people that can hit threes. I, um, I, I'm very happy with the way we dissected the zone. I thought we did a really good job of hitting cutters, um, making high percentage shots. I mean, we had 44 point paint points against a zone defense. That, that's kind of hard to do. Never thought I'd ask this question in my journalism career. Uh, mm -hmm. Caitlin, uh, you went from the Jordan shrug, and mm -hmm. I looked at, there's a couple photos and videos of you after hitting threes. You started sticking your tongue out. Like, have you gone from the Jordan shrug to, like, the Jordan tongue out after a big shot? Honestly, sometimes I don't even know. You just get so excited once you hit a shot. Um, I think the Jordan shrug is still the go-to, though. <laughs> Coach Bluter, congratulations. Um, at this point in the year, Jess Settles back here. Good to see you. At this point in the year, what do you love about your team and what are the couple things that you just got to get a little better to, to win this whole thing? Yeah, I think the things we have to do a little bit better at, I mean, obviously we turned the ball over too many times tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, we took some risky passes tonight that we probably didn't need to, kind of got excited there and, and made forced a few. Um, you know, defensively, I, I've been happy with our progress this year, but I think there, there's still some room for improvement there. Um, but I really, really like the way that we're passing the ball, the way that we share the ball. Um, I really like the way that we're rebounding. Um, that's much better this year. And we said that we needed to be better offensive rebounders coming into this year, and I think we're doing that. Um, but more importantly, I just I love being around the team. I mean, they are great young women that just happen to play basketball, mm -hmm. and I'm really, really, just really thankful that I get the opportunity to go to work every day with these women.